like to welcome everybody tonight to Marengo High School and Homer Berry Gymnasium where we are uh, bringing you live the girls volleyball game tonight between the Marengo Indians and the visiting team, the Harvard Hornets. Uh, we are uh, tonight's a special occasion here at the volleyball game. It is the Volley for the Cure, a uh, little fundraiser for breast cancer awareness. And um, they've already kind of gone through those festivities, as, as you see, have seen earlier. And uh, we're going to be getting this uh, game underway in a moment. Uh, first, we're going to talk about the starters tonight for both squads. First, for the visiting Harvard Hornets. Um, starting for the Hornets, number one, Taylor Strait. Number two, Randy Blazer. Number seven, Sam McLeod. Number nine, Sammy Gens. Number six, Karina Gutierrez. And number 15, McKenna Powell. We'll be back in a moment with the Marengo Indian starters right here after the national anthem. Outstanding rendition of the national anthem there from Brittany Pietroso, a Marengo High School student. Outstanding rendition of the national anthem. Back to the starters now for the Indians. Number three, Jessica Villi. Number four, Emily Cisneros. Number five, Katie Ward. Number eight, Rain Hoey. Number nine, Lindsay Husky. And number 14, Peyton Velasquez. The libero for the Indians is number 10, Bailey Lasota. So, Dan, big game tonight here for both squads. Opportunity here to get a victory. I think both teams uh, think they have a pretty good shot at tonight's ballgame. I do believe so, Nate. And uh, this is a new experience for me. I don't watch much volleyball, but uh, we're going to give it a go tonight. And nobody said we were experts. So we'll do our best here to bring it live to those who are out there and uh, not able to make it out to the ball game tonight. We're happy to bring it to you live here on IHSA TV. And this will be broadcasted uh, uh, on demand where you can actually download and watch it like a YouTube video. Uh, you just go to IHSA TV backslash Marengo, the sa same site that brought you right here, and you can watch it uh, permanently uh, as it will be uploaded probably later on tonight, and you can watch it uh, over and over again as many times as you like. So we're happy to bring you the ball game, and we'll be back in a few minutes uh, with the start of this ball game.
just some adjustments to the lineups we gave you earlier. Uh, some changes tonight because they are wearing special uniforms tonight for the Volley for the Cure. Uh, Jessica Villy will be number 15 tonight. She's usually number three. And Bailey Lasota will be number two. She's usually number 10. So those two changes there, uh, uniforms tonight. The teams are wearing different numbers than they normally are in support of the breast cancer awareness tonight. So uh, we see the pink and the black, not the normal colors, but uh, definitely out there for a good cause. Teams will shake hands at the middle of the floor. They'll get back into their positions and we'll get this game underway. High school, rally scoring, three games. First to win two, technically best of three. And to win, you gotta get to 25. You've been reading up, haven't you, right? Hey, you know, I've been to a game or two, so. I've got a, I, I, know, I know enough to survive up here tonight, so. Not my, not my uh, forte, but uh, I definitely know enough to survive. I don't have a cheat sheet, that's for sure. Wow. That's ridiculous. Not that Dan has a cheat sheet that's sitting ridiculous. directly in front of him written in a girl's handwriting. Obviously, a classmate of his wrote one up for him so he'd know what he was talking about tonight. It was actually Rain Hoey. Oh, really? Okay. Well, starting volleyball player, that works. It does. She probably knows what she's talking about. She does. That's why I have it. <laughs> to serve first for the Hornets will be number 15, McKenna Powell. It'll be Billy on the set, and she drops it in there. That's one point for Marengo. Nice little touch drop in there off to the right side, avoiding the Harvard defender there. Kind of, instead of going up there for the hard spike, she just kind of uh, tips it over the net to the right side, and uh, Marengo gets on the board first. Serving for the Indians, Rain Hoey. Kind of up off the shoulders there of Stephanie Stevens. They return it. Lasota with the spike returned by number eight, Rebecca Clark. And it's dropped in for Harvard's first point of the ball game. That was an A for effort on defense. What did you say, Nate? Say that again? That was an A for effort on defense. A for effort, yeah. A yep. couple nice little uh, returns there. And uh, Harvard uh, kind of diminishes the threat by the Indians. And they take over serve here. 1-1 one, in our game one. Served by number two, Randy Blazer. Soto will return it back over. Harvard, a little miscommunication there. Sets it up. This is going to be hard on the, excuse me, that was number 14, Peyton Velasquez with the kill. I like that term. The kill? The kill. That hey, is, that's, that's, a, that's a vicious term for high school athletics, the kill. Especially for volleyball. You, you wouldn't think of that in volleyball, but. But definitely a stat to keep track of. Return just short there. Unable to get it across is number nine, Sam, uh, Sammy Gaines. And it's 3-1 Marengo lead here early in game one. Another nice jump serve by the Indians. Return dug up by Lasota. And Hoey gets it back across. Little touch shot in there. Nice little dig there by Lasota again. This is going to be Katie Ward. With Now Katie Ward's known to really hammer it across the net there, and she kind of came up there a little touch shot. I think they were expecting that uh, a harder spike there, and all they got was a little touch, and they weren't prepared for it. Well, there's nothing wrong with a little bit of finesse, don't you think? I think so. Another serve there. Looks like it barely gets over the net. They're going to set it up there, just getting it back over. Lasota's going to set it up there. Oh, nice little recovery there by the Indians. Katie Ward's got to get it over. A little touch again and just right in there into an empty area. Weren't able to make the play. That was number four. Emily Cisneros in there and also looked like Hoey in there to try to uh, dig that and neither of them were able to reach it. Yeah, that would have been a tough dig because that was uh, out of the reach of pretty much everyone on the court. Kind of in the perfect area there. Deep really serve. Was. She served a couple 
10 feet back there. A little a bump, and I don't think this is this one's gonna end up as a Marengo point. That makes it 5-2 Indians here in game one. A little substitution there. That looks like Lesota going out of the ball game and into play here is number nine, Lindsey Husky. And Billy will be serving for the Indians. Billy looks to jump serve it here. Serves right into the middle. I think we have a little net. Oh, a lift there. So that's point for the Indians. 6-2 here in game one. Billy again on the jump serve. Little spike off the net, recovered by Hart. Or excuse me, that was Ward. And Harvard's not able to get it across there. So a couple points here in a row. Good momentum here for the Indians, Dan. Yeah, Moringo's rolling right now, and that's good to see. Billy's going to serve again here, her third serve in a row. Crossed, unable to control it. It's deep. I think that's deep. It was deep there. I believe that was Lindsey Husky uh, trying to get a quick sneak of a spike in there and uh, not able to uh, keep it in. Lasota's going to save that one there. It's going to go to Ward. She gets it back over. And I believe that is out. That's a Marengo point there. That was number four, Stephanie Stevens. Libero for the Hornets, unable to get it across there. Nice shot, but just a little wide. Yeah, that was a good call there by the Marengo Indians right there not to go after it. Serve there was number four, Cisneros. And the Indians unable to get it back across. The Harvard will take over the serve here. Indians up 8-4 here in game one. Not a whole lot of aggressive shots so far, Dan. No, we got a lot of finesse action going on. And, you know, if it works, it works. Oh, that serve really in the only spot that the Indians couldn't handle it there. Kind of off to the side, not really exactly what. Indians didn't seem to be prepared for that one. So number uh, 14, Peyton Velasquez, uh, kind of makes a pretty good attempt at it, but unable to control it. Velasquez gets another shot there and sets it up perfectly for the set and the spike. And Ward, Ward thinks it got tipped. And the officials didn't see it. Dan, did you see a tip there? Uh, I think I did, but, you know, the official knows best. Hey, they're a lot closer than we are. And uh, that was, uh, serve was out there. Velasquez sees it, makes a nice little uh, decision there to uh, not go after that one. Indian point, 9-6 now. It's rally scoring. The points really get rolling on you. It's tough to keep track of what's going on. Nice dig there by Lasota. Very nice dig. And that was Velasquez on the spike. It is tipped out, point Indians. And back to serve for the Indians is Katie Ward. Nice easy serve over, looking for them to get a return here. Tipped, that was Husky on the attempted block there. It tipped it kind of down and out of the reach of Lasota and that's a point for Harvard. Quick note, Nate, back in middle school, I was actually a pro at volleyball. A pro? Pro. Really? I middle really school was. professional volleyball player. Huh? I was. Ward looking for the kill there. Nice. Oh, nice little uh, exchange there at the net. And we're going to have. Uh, that was the official call in the net there on the Hornets. So a point for the Indians, 11-7. Indians haven't had a lead over four yet, looking to extend it to their first five-point lead of the ball game. That's Lasota on the serve, and it is in. That's a point Indians, 12-7 in their biggest lead so far in game one. So halfway point here at game one, Dan, what do you see? I see a lot of uh, movement and, you know, why would you answer that question? I, th I, threw you, I threw you under the bus there. Oh, nice little touch shot there. You see who that was. That looks like it was Rain Hoey. 
Nice little touchdown. We got a timeout, Harvard. So first time out of the ball game here. Uh, 13-7 in game one. Indians off to an early lead, Dan. You know, Nate, to go back on your uh, prior comment, you know what I see, Nate? I see 100% effort. Absolutely. You know, in volleyball, it's tough to, uh, you know, you're really kind of out on an island there, uh, six people out on the floor, and uh, if you're not working hard, uh, they're going to find you real quick out there. That is the truth. You know, my my great playing experiences uh, really helped me uh, decipher what you're saying, and uh, you know, <laughs> but you know, you are you are correct. You know, if they see that you're you're acting a little uh, lackadaisical out there, they're going to attack you. And I think teams uh, are going to take their opportunities to find points where they can, and if they see on the floor, they're going to attack you. Oh, the other thing is too that sometimes you just got to get it across, and uh, so those good teams find those weaknesses. Which the well, Indians so, are. That's a good point. The soda there on the serve, kind of in a dead area. Nice little save there. And Billy on the block there. I don't know if that ball would have got across, but Billy was there. And uh, another point for the Indians. So the biggest lead here in game one, seven points. Soda on the serve again. Harvard able to handle that one. Nice little setup there for from Lasota, that was for Velasquez. Be able to be returned though by the Hornets. And they're on the kill there was number seven, Sam McLeod for the Hornets. Kind of in a dead area there again for the Indians and nobody really there to pick it up and 14-8. the serve there, that was number 15. McKenna Powell, she, uh, I, you consider that an ace there? I consider that an ace, yeah, even though we hit it. I guess you still call it an ace. And that one unable to get over the net, so point for the Indians. Back to a six-point lead here in game one. Hoey on the serve. Harvard able to get it back across. Hoey on the set. That went to Velasquez. Velasquez kind of tries to dump it down, and then she then hits a nice little uh, decision there. Good awareness. Uh, Velasquez sees Powell come too close to the net on the previous shot, and she just places it right back behind her. Yeah, it really was keep your head in the game, and, you know, it's kind of like um, uh, playing your own ball in different sports. You know, you got to always watch that, and she saw it come right back at her. Exactly. Oftentimes, sometimes the, the best rebounder on a shot is going to be the shooter in the game of basketball. Exactly. And so in the same situation, she sees exactly where she needed to hit it and be able to get a point there. Harvard uh, sneaks one out there. That's 16-10 here. Indians looking to get it in. Nice little touch shot there. I didn't see who that was. Was that Hoey there on that little touch shot? And uh, kind of sneaks it across the uh, court there. Uh, drops in. Just short of the left line, or the near side line here, and Indians with a point, 17-10. Nice little serve, a lot of downward spin on that serve by Velasquez, and Harvard unable to handle it. Indians up 18-10 here in game one, and the Hornets take their second time out. Really quick while we got this uh, short intermission, why don't you inform everybody who you keep referring to over there is our... Uh our new volleyball expert here working the computer tonight. Yeah, nice to have a new person on board here, Garrett Hoey, uh, working our uh, scoreboard tonight. And uh, good here, uh, the student section uh, in, here in full force tonight uh, to support our volleyball team. But yeah, our team's growing a little bit uh, day by day. It started off as me by myself, and then I talked to you into coming and helping me out, Dan. And Now Garrett, you want me gone? And No. And now Garrett uh, has expressed some interest, and he's up here helping us out, and hopefully he'll step in and do some play-by-play -play stuff during basketball with you, and that'll be nice to see here in the future. And really quick, I'd like to give a shout-out to our, uh, our cameraman tonight, our, our wonderful principal, uh, Mr. Shepard, over here. Mr. Shepard on the camera. That's a very good point. Uh, some nice camera work, as I've seen so far. you got to give credit where credit is That's due. That's true. Velasquez, or, yeah, that was Velasquez on the serve, returned by the... Hornets, but return long. Another point for the Indians, and they're six away from taking game one here. 
Velasquez will serve again. Drops it into a little dead area there. No one seems a lot of service finding those spots tonight, but Harvard's able to bring it back. That's Cisneros there on the return back. Another attempt to drop it in there. Lasota's going to set it up here. Ward was trying to get a little look at it. And it's going to be a double hit there on Cisneros. A nice little dig over there by number four. That's Stephanie Stevens for the Hornets. And Cisneros kind of just tried to block it back and kind of lost the handle on it, hit the net, and then she had to hit it again, trying to save it. Nice little play there off the net. Gets the Indians back in control there, but Harvard able to make a kill there. That's number three, Maddie Brinks on the kill. And that brings it within seven for the Hornets. Doesn't Rain have the coolest name? Rain, that is a very nice name. And that's Ward with her first big kill of the night. Had a couple touch shots earlier, but set up nicely there. I believe that was Hoey on the set. And uh, Katie Ward able to really hammer it home. Just want to throw this your way. Every time that Rain does score, I am going to go to She's Making It Rain. Uh, I like it. Uh, I like I'm it. I'm going to do it. A uh, little, uh, that was number 15, Jessica Villy there. She's going to step out after that serve. Indians up by seven here. 2013. Rally score, and they played a 25 in each game. Indians looking to take game one in an early lead. Cisneros returned by the Hornets. Tip there at the net initially by either Husky or Cisneros. I couldn't really see there, but uh, kind of a good attempt there to try to make the block, but it kind of hits off the side and kind of falls right there in the middle. Lasota not able to get to it. Serving for the Hornets there was number nine, Sammy Gaines. And the Indians hit it right back at Gens, and she's unable to handle it there. Point for the Indians. They're four away from taking game one. Cisneros to serve. Right into the middle of the floor there to the libero for the Hornets. And that's number three. Maddie Brinks not able to keep it in there. Hits it long. And the Indians are now three away from game one. Right back there to number four, Stevens. Nice save there by Hoey. Lasota's going to set it up. And Rain unable to get it back across. Lasota not really able to, kind of in a weird area there. She's not really able to set anybody else up for the spike. We've got a bit of a drought right now. <laughs> a little bit of a drought? <laughs> uh, need to make I'm it rain? sorry. I'm Is not a comedian. Saying? I'm not, I'm not you. I'm not, <laughs> it's not your second night job. I don't have... So to return, this is going to be Cisneros. What a downspin there on those balls. Nice kill there by number two. Watch out That's in the crowd. Randy Blazer. That's Randy Blazer, and she hits it. The spike cross court. Ward unable to handle, and it goes into the crowd. 22-16 here in game one. Indians need to finish this one off. It's going to be Ward. On the kill, cross court, unable Ooh. to handle it. It's number four, Stephanie Stevens. And that's 23 16. The Indians two points away from taking an early lead. Can I do it? Go ahead. Boom goes the dynamite. <laughs> We've been wanting to work that in for a while. We, we never have, really had we that have. opportunity. And that was a boom goes the dynamite. It's going to be number two with a little touch over the top. Nice save there by, I believe that was Husky, and brought across by Velasquez. Again, that's number two. Randy Blazer tries that same cross-court spike again, unable to get it down. And the Indians are one point away from game one. And game one is an important game to take, Dan. It really is. You know, in, in any uh, best out of three, you always want to be the one who takes that first game because it just gives you comfort, you know? Nice little touch there by number 15 for the Hornets. That's McKenna Powell. Kind of acted like she was going to set it there, and then she just kind of touched, dropped it over the top of the Indians' front line. 24-17, Indians a point away. And the nice thing about rally scoring, Dan, is you don't have to have the serve to get a point. I mean, this can happen anywhere, and the Indians can take game one. 
Indians looking to set things up. That's Ward. Nice little spike there from deep. Lasota's going to set it up. Nice dig. This is going to be Velasquez. Nice dig again. Good little volley going here. First real good one we've seen all night. Ward's going to try to get it back across. She does. Little touch again. Nice. Nice little volley going here, Dan. Yeah, we definitely do. And that's net. Ah, there we go. On the Hornets. That's Point Indians. That's 25-17. And that's game one. The Indians take a 1-0 lead. Is it safe to say that that play was butter, Nate? That play was butter. That well, was it wasn't butter. really. The butter would be when we do it. That was a mistake on them. So. We're going to use a catchphrase. you got to use it in the right situation. I came up with that catchphrase. So who made you the. That's true. If it's your oh, catchphrase. You are the aficionado. <laughs> that's true. You still, did you find out how to spell that yet? I spelled it not right correctly the other night. Because I don't really think that that's a word. Let, aficionado? Little. Uh, Shout out to Chad Olson, our athletic director. There he is, man in the door. Taking care of business down there and making sure this volley for the cure goes well in his first year here as athletic director. Maybe we could get him to wave. I don't think it's going to happen. I don't think it's going to happen either. All right, so we'll be back here in about uh, 2 minutes 30 seconds with game two. Uh, Marengo takes an early 1-0 lead. And we'll be back in a few minutes here from Homerberry Gymnasium. Marengo takes an early lead up one game, nothing over the heart of her Hornets. Be back in a few. All right, here, stepping in for uh, uh, Nate here. We got Garrett Hoey coming in to be my play-by-play -play here. Uh, it's good to see you. It's good, it's good, good to, to have you, you here. Dan. Good to see you too, Dan. How, uh, so how do you think the game's been going on? It's been going good. You know, it's in uh, the Indians' favor right now, and that's what I like to see. Yeah, all right. We're getting back to play now, and it looks like Rain Hoey is set to serve. And here's a serve. And a nice little tip by number 15, Erica Stowell, I think. Oh, McKenna Powell on that, sorry. It's all good, we're not perfect here. Yep, got that right. Oh, and, a, and an ace by McKenna Powell. Harvard. What did you, you know, think of that ace? That, that was a nice ace, and uh, you know that last play that got them their point. You know, it was in that dead area that Nate kept talking about. Yep, hit them where they ain't, real old baseball. Exactly, turn. exactly. And Bailey Lasota on the set, and Peyton Velasquez. Oh, she got stuffed. Yeah, 
That was a tough dig for her right there, but uh, you know, A for effort again. Yeah, exactly. McKenna Powell on the serve. Oh, and a nice tip by Peyton Velasquez. A hit over. Bailey Lasota on the set. Green Hoy on the set over. And oh, and a lift on Harvard. It's Moringa's first point there, Garrett. Yeah, and it was a lucky one. I did not see a lift. Now, Garrett, is it true that you played volleyball when you were attending Zion? Yes, I did. We made it to state two times while I was playing there. That's really cool. That's why I picked up all the terms and stuff. Oh, and a Ooh, nice stick by Harvard. Very and another tip. Nice. Point Maringo, 2-3 here in the second game. That was a great effort there by the Hornets, though. Yes, it was. Served by Peyton Velasquez. Hits back over. Set Bailey Lasota, and it's bumped back over. And there's a spike. Uh, hit back up by Rain Hoey. A nice tip and a nice dig. A good bounce back over. Oh, uh, I don't know what the Indians were trying there. Whatever yeah. it was, it didn't work. It, it did, but, uh, you know, it was great effort out on the court right now. Oh, yeah, I always have to give 100% every time. You know, and volleyball is one of those sports where, you, where communication is key. Oh, yeah, just like basketball and football and well, every sport. And the hit back over. Oh, and the Indians were just just confused on that play. They, did, they obviously did not communicate. Rainy Blazer on the serve. Rain Hoy gets it back up and Bailey Lasota gets it over. Harvard, uh, they get it back over. Bailey Lasota again and oh there's nice. Shelby Voss on the kill there. Jessica Villi on the serve. Harvard gets it back. But Moringo does not get it back over. Yeah, that was a rough uh, rough play right there. You know, you know, you go down thinking that you're going to be able to get that, but your other player tips that away. It's got to be pretty frustrating. Not, not against the other player, but just because you almost had it. Yeah, and uh, short serve by Harvard. Number four, Stephanie Steffens. Stevens, uh, sorry. Yeah. And there's a kill by Ooh. Katie Ward. Can I do it, Garrett? Go right ahead, Dan. Boom goes the dynamite. <laughs> Shelby Voss on the serve. And, oh, thought she was going to get an ace there. They get it back over. Green Hoy on the set. Katie Ward on the kill again. Ah. Can I go again? Go ahead. Boom goes the dynamite. Shelby Voss, her third serve in a row here. And Harvard gets it back. There's Rain Hoy on the set. Oh, Katie Ward down the kill again. Stop it right now. Dan, this, are you gonna do it? No, this is too many explosions right now. We we, we just that's too much dynamite for uh for uh, for in a minute. You know we can't we can't have that many explosions. You are definitely right. And Shelby Voss again with another serve. Harvard gets it back. There's Katie Ward and Lindsey Husky gets it back. Harvard hits it out. 8-6 here in the second game. Moringa leads 1-0 in games. The Indians are on a roll right now. Yes, they are. Led by, uh, you know, Katie Ward and that, uh, that boomstick she's got going right now. Yeah. 
And there's the serve again. And Harvard gets it back. Shelby Voss to Rain Hoey. And the Lindsay Husky gets the tip there. Oh, nice save there by Bailey Lasota. And the Indians get it back over to the Harvard Hornets. Shelby Boss, Terrain Hoy again. And Katie Ward. Uh, Katie Ward on with another She faked him out. She was going to go for the boom goes the dynamite again, but she just sent it over like a flower in a package, you know. Oh, yeah. That was a beautiful present that she sent over. Yes, it was. And Harvard gets it back. Bailey Lasota sets to Rain Hoy, who sets to Katie Ward, and there it goes. Marengo, another point, 10-6 here in the second game. This is, this is quite an entertaining game right now. Yes, it is. Two rivals facing off against each other. And, ooh, they've just got that over. Oh. Haven't seen that call before. <laughs> well, if it makes you feel better, I haven't seen half of these calls before. <laughs> and timeout Harvard. That's uh, first, third now in the game today. We got Nate over there doing double duty, working the computer and working the camera. Yes, and big thanks to him. He set up all this, so we couldn't have been here without him. Harvard takes the court. So Garrett, how's your night going so far? It's been good. I, I've been waiting for a while to do play-by-play, -play and it's a dream come true for me. And, you know, and, and that's what we do here at uh, you know, IHSA TV. We, we make dreams come true. Shelby Bost with another serve. And Harvard gets it back over with a set. Green Hoy to Katie Ward, and she puts oh. it away. Boom! Goes to Dynamite. We're going to need some C4 up in here. Uh, she's getting there. I think I'm going to have to come up with another expression because she's wearing that one out. Yeah. Shelby Voss just on a roll here uh, with her team, of course. And Harvard gets it back, sets to Rain Hoy, who then sets it to Katie Ward. And That's Katie Ward puts it away again. She's faking them out. They think that she's going to come in with a nasty kill, but, uh, you know, she comes up and she just sets that over beautifully. You are correct, Dan. Shelby Voss again. Just Her arm's probably got to be getting tired, Dan. <laughs> yes, you, you'd have to think it is because, you know, she, she's she's pitching a shutout right now, if you, if you know what I'm saying in baseball terms. Yes, I do. And Harvard gets it back, and Marengo gets it back over. Harvard with the tried to kill. Oh, and uh, Moringa with the lift. Well, that's got to be a disappointment for Shelby Voss. She had a nice little run going there. Yeah, but she'll get him next time. She'll all bounce back, and we know she will. That's all you can do there. And Harvard with the serve. Green Hoy to Katie Ward, and that's out. Yes, I, I agree with that call. The coaches don't. Moringa coaches. Harvard with the serve, and Moringo gets it back over. Harvard again, gets it back with the tip. Oh, Harvard another tip, but that one's out. Katie Ward here, coming up next to serve for Moringo. And a, a change in lineup here. There's Katie Ward with the serve, and Harvard gets it back. Oh, that was a carry. I just remembered what that one was called. <laughs> I like that uh, that uh, Katie Ward, her expression went from very upset to uh, jumping into the air with uh, excitement. And it was uh, quite a graceful move. Yes, it was, Dan. And there's Katie Ward with the serve. That's her third in the row. Oh, and another carry. 
And Harvard's got to quit making these uh, mental mistakes here. They, they have to get these right to win. Yeah, you know, I mean, mental mistakes are going to kill you in any sport. And uh, right now it's taking a toll on the Hornets. Yes, and now they're... Now, Randy Blazer was having a discussion with the referee. She didn't agree with that uh, carry call. Katie Ward with the serve. I think that may have been out if she let that go. But And there's Rain Hoy to Shelby Voss, and she gets it back. Harvard with the... Oh, and the tip by Marengo. That's a carry call on Harv. Oh, wait. Yes, still a carry call. You know, I'm glad you're here because uh, if you weren't, I would have no idea what I'm doing right now. That's all right, Dan. You, you don't have to know every sport. I am learning as I go, though. Katie Ward with the serve. And Harvard sets it. Tried to get a kill, but blocked. And there's Lindsay, or uh, scratch that, Peyton Velasquez with the attempted kill. Out as Harvard tried to tip that one back over. Katie Ward with another serve here. Getting on a little run like Katie, nice or uh, Shelby Boss. That was a nice dig, Dan. Oh, and... A little sign of frustration there from Lindsey Husky. So Dan, do you think Harvard's gonna be able to come back from this uh, late deficit? You know, everyone's capable of going on a roll, but I think um, they uh, keep making the mental mistakes like you were talking about earlier. It's gonna be tough for them. You are exactly right. And the Marengo players, uh, just switched. Number 11, uh, Charity Steffen for Katie Ward, number five. And Harvard with the serve. And they get it back. Uh, almost another mental mistake there. Set to Lindsey Husky. And that was a, they tipped that off of Harvard. Point Marengo. 19-9 here in the second game of the Harvard Marengo. Volley for the cure here. 2012. Marengo leads by games, 1-0. Bailey Lasota put a little too much on it as it goes way out of bounds. Yeah, just add a little bit too much hot, too much hot sauce to that, uh, that serve there. Put on a little too much pepper. Is there a problem, Nate? Is there a problem? Ah, uh, he's shaking his head like there's a problem. And Mallory Hack with the serve. And, oh, almost got it over, but that was a double hit on Marengo. Garrett, what's your favorite class this year? I would have to say World Civ. World Civ? Interesting. I do enjoy history and and we should get back to the game now. Harvard tried to kill, tip off by Marengo. Point Harvard. 19-12 here in the second game. Marengo no. Harvard. I was in World Civ. Did you pass it? I was in there for a day, so I don't know. So we'll take that as a yes. Yes. Mallory Hack with the serve again, and that's out. Point Marengo. Marengo needs five points here to wrap this up. And it looks like Bailey Votava is set to serve. Oh, and that looked like a carry call, but it didn't matter. It went under the net. And Nikki Hammertree is set to come in for Peyton Velasquez. Oh, and timeout Harvard. Harvard's down to their last time out here. So Dan, how do you think the game's been going since, 
It's been going good. I, I've actually been quite entertained. Not saying that volleyball is not entertaining. I've just never taken an interest. And uh, But now I think uh, this is moving up in my uh, favorite sports. You know, I mean, it's a fast-paced game, and it's, it's quite enjoyable. And that's been the tone tonight, just fast-paced. And uh, Katie Ward with those uh, boom gun lightning, you know, it's really a... Uh, lightning i've never heard lightning make a sound before i did i did lightning this time i don't know why thank you for correcting me garrett it's dynamite bailey votava with the serve harvard tries to get it back they are they're just not communicating well here that's been a problem lately in the season you know garrett i've noticed you're about as witty as mr wright thank you dan i don't know if i should take that as a compliment or i don't know if you should either Oh, and Maringo, a nice dig there by uh, Bailey Vota or Lesota. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, and too many Baileys. Yeah, one too many. This is Bailey Votava set to serve here. Here's a serve, out. 23-13 here, second game. Maringo leads one to nothing in games. You know, Dan, we're, we are the only uh, state in the country to have this three-game law. Repeat that? We are the only state in the country to have the three-game law. Others play to five. Really? Well, yeah. I have learned something today, and I do appreciate it. You're welcome. It's more than Nate's taught me today. <laughs> and Nikki Hammertree with the serve to Harvard. Uh, the libero, number four, Stephanie Steffens. Uh, did not know what to do there. Let's put it into the net, and that's the win for Marengo. So Marengo wins here. The Volley for the Cure 2012 at Marengo. Homer Berry's uh, gymnasium here in Marengo, Illinois. Hope you had a good night, and hope you're still having a good night. We'll be right back in a minute to recap on the game. Well, Dan, what'd you think about your new partner? I think he has uh, a copious amount of potential. I think he is more than capable of taking care of this spot. All right, uh, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for joining us tonight here on IHSA TV from Homer Berry uh, Gymnasium, where the Indians were able to take the first two ball games and finish it off here tonight. They won the first one 25 to 17, and the second one 25 to 13. Indians able to get off to an early lead in game one and just kind of finished it off from there. In game two, though, Dan, Indians kind of got off to a slow start. Yeah, it was a slow start, and you know, but, uh, you know, we, we caught up and we, we got in our rhythm and, you know, we, we came up and we came up with a win, you know? Yep, well, we got a little run there. Uh, looked like Shelby Voss, when she came in, had a few serves and kind of got things going back in Marengo's direction. So Marengo finishes off the Harvard Hornets tonight, 25-13 uh, in game two. And the Indians win 2 nothing, and that's the ball game. Quick night tonight. The Indians able to take care of business as quick as they could. And the Volleyball of the Cure looks like to be a success, along with the Marengo win. So we thank you for joining us tonight. And uh, we'll see you probably for our next broadcast. We'll be in about a week and a half for our homecoming football game uh, where the Indians will take, off the, take on the Rockford Christian Royal Lions here at home. So we'll see you in two weeks. 
That's October 12th. And uh, you guys have a good week and a good weekend, and we'll see you uh, next Friday night. For Dan Justin and Garrett Hoey, our new uh, uh, help here with uh, IHSE TV, I'm Nate Wright, and uh, we will see you next Friday. Thanks a lot. Stay beautiful.